All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode here on my tutorial videos, I guess, on my channel. I don't know. Anyways, thank you for clicking on this. I just wanted to simply show off five pathways that I like personally use and such, and they are obviously behind me. I will say they aren't necessarily biome specific. However, you could use them in specific biomes up to you. However, the way that I look at pathways is I make a town and I figure out what biome that town would best fit in. And then I figure out the colors and the palettes I'm gonna work with with that town. And if the colors in the, that I have planned out for the town match any of these, regardless of what biome it's in, I'm gonna use it. That's just how I view pathways. But personally, I have used all of these before in my game, in my game, in my Let's Plays and stuff like that. However, the only one I haven't is this granite one right here. And the main reason for that is I'm not completely sold on it, really. That's the problem. Um, like, let's go take a look at it here. This is terracotta, and it doesn't really blend terribly well color-wise with the granite. I mean, it looks okay. But it's not the best compared to the rest of these in terms of blending. So maybe one day I will use it. And if I do, it'll probably be in my current Let's Play, which you can check out in the card right up above. Also, if you like my tutorials, you should really subscribe. Anyways, I did want to also add to this before just ending this video like this. I personally don't like pathways that just throw everything together. Like pathways where you have dirt and then cobblestone in the middle and then leave blocks in the middle. I'm like, uh, I don't like that. Or pathways where it's like just dotted around a bunch of pathway blocks and then grass in the middle. I don't like that either. Unless what you're building calls for that. Like if it if you can explain why the pathway is like that in a logical sense, then I understand it. But just for decoration, like if it's a pathway heading to, in the middle of some town and you have random leaves or grass growing it probably isn't real like in any town there's really no grass growing on a major road that's being used so it just has to make sense to me otherwise i don't particularly like it which is why you don't see any of those types of pathways here really so let's start off over here with our cobblestone gray road <laughs> this cobblestone gray road is probably the easiest thing you can make just because there are so many gray blocks and extra blocks in Minecraft that you can use. It is literally ridiculous. You could also use concrete if you wanted because there's gray concrete. You could even use terracotta because there's some gray terracotta and stuff like that. But like, it's so easy to make this just because of all the blocks Minecraft gives you that blend well together. But even so, even though these all blend, I still wanted to have a main pathway kind of through the middle of it, which you can see just kind of following here. You can tell that's obviously the main pathway, except for this block here is kind of no, not that one. This one's kind of like, eh, no, andesite. That's a bit better. You can kind of tell this is the main walkway compared to the parts where there's ditches and stuff. Now, as we move on to the second one over here, I also wanted to take the time to explain how I actually make these pathways. You see, I usually start off with an area that I've obviously marked for path and I excavate it out so that it's ready to be filled in. And then I fill in the entire width of the path and length with one block, the block that I want to be the main running pattern, if that makes sense. So with that in mind, obviously this one, if you can tell, the main pathway block is an actual pathway block. So I started off by filling this whole thing in with pathway blocks. Then I went ahead and I filled it in with all these side blocks. And I used these extra colors and extra textures to obviously make it look like, yeah, people walk here the most, but there is other dirt that they do walk on, but not all the time, which is why this one's the most worn down compared to these other side blocks. Plus it gives it, of course, texture, it looks better, things like that. <laughs> Basically, that's the reason how I want to explain my thinking behind it. And this pathway, obviously, coarse dirt, path blocks, uh, concrete powder, brown, mushroom, uh, I always, podzel, I want to call it mycelium all the time. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. This one is done with coarse slabs. These are actually petrified slabs that I have a data pack for that changes them into coarse dirt slabs. So that's why everything else can be done in Java pretty much. If not, I'd probably put oak planks there instead. All right, this next one over here, I'm probably gonna be using it for a pathway to my base in my current Let's Play, which again, there's a card up in the corner for that. Um, it is mostly made of sandstone. That's the main pathway block here, really, is this smooth sandstone. Then I added in sand for extra texture, although you can't really tell it with the shaders on, but without shaders, you definitely can. 
as well as stripped birch wood and birch planks here as of course the stairs and everything like that but again since I said this isn't biome specific I do add in coarse dirt in fact I probably will even though my base is currently in a desert just because a few blocks of dirt in the desert is not really something that's all too surprising to find so it makes sense plus it's a nice little pop of brown and gives you a little extra interest to look at as I said this is my newest one that I haven't really implemented yet completely at least but I might who knows our main pathway here is terracotta then we got of course coarse dirt and granite granite bricks granite stairs and I think that's it yeah that's about it this one's actually pretty simple when you look at it honestly and again you can see there's kind of like a main pathway going on here with the terracotta that kind of leads you through it all it's exactly what I wanted to do so that when I'm walking I feel like oh this is exactly where I'm supposed to be going right down this middle pathway or however it is <laughs> and then finally we have this ice pathway this ice pathway could have blue ice in it but i didn't add it because i just forgot but the main pathway is currently the packed ice with dots of regular ice around as well as snow and snow blocks but you can tell like this obviously the packed ice is kind of going right down the middle compared to the smaller well, compared to the lighter blue ice on that's more on the edges here so you know you're like okay I gotta actually I'd probably do that instead yeah that works a little better although it's a straight line I hate it when it's a straight line but oh, I guess it's close enough that's better at least there's a curve to that <laughs> but yeah that's gonna have to do it for this episode super short and sweet just trying to show off these pathway designs i hope you guys enjoyed or got some inspiration from it and if you did leave a like comment and subscribe if you're new and as always i'll see y'all in the next one bye guys